Hey, my oily friends. This is your oily girl, Emma, coming at you. I had to go to YouTube so I can actually tape long enough. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, I'm going to talk about caregiver today. And myself, my two older sisters, and even my brother, they we are caregivers to our mom, Miss Gladys. Um... Caregiving is a very tough job. It's very it's stressful and it wears and tear on your body and it can wear and tear on your mind. Anybody out there that does take care of a, a older parent or sibling or um, children, then you know what I'm talking about. But the thing that um, caregivers need to do is to definitely take care of themselves. Sometimes I don't do that. I'm going to admit it. I'd probably be the last one that think about getting something done to myself, but I have to wait till, or I wait until I am so broke down, as Mama Kelly would say, that then by the time I go to the doctor, then I have to get something done. And I shouldn't do that. I have to take care of myself so I can be a caretaker or a caregiver. But what do y'all say about that? What are your sentiments on it? What do you think about it? Uh, give me your sentiments in the comments below. But to be a caregiver, you got to take care of yourself. You have to uh, make sure that your health is in good shape because... Believe me when I say, it will wear you down. It will wear you down in so many ways. Uh, Mama Gladys, she has uh, Alzheimer's. And, you know, she's doing fairly well. But we can tell that there is a decline that is going on. And we have to address that. But uh, we are doing our best to make sure she is comfortable that she is taken care of and not needing anything, you know, not in want of anything. So that's what caregivers do. But as I say, we have to take care of ourselves. I can give you an example of a uh, older couple in my volunteer work. We go from door to door, talk to people about the Bible, and this particular person or a couple, they're, I think they're in the 80s. The husband was the caregiver. And the wife has Parkinson's disease. So he was taking care of her. And mind you, he did a good job. He made sure she had a bath. She made, he made sure she ate. He did everything that he possibly could to keep her comfortable. But then... I went to visit them, me and another friend, when we was in our ministry, and came to the door, and a lady came to a caregiver, a well, a home health person, I guess, came to the door, and we asked how, you know, how they were doing, and she said, well, uh, the, the husband had fell and broke his neck, so he was in the hospital, and then they put him in rehab. Me and my sister... They, we said, okay, well, that's, you know, we'll go visit, no problem. I mean, we hate that that happened. So we went to visit the uh, older gentleman, and he had the thing around his neck. They was giving therapy to him, and so he said he was going to be, you know, doing well. He said, I'll be home in about two or three days. And I said, okay, well, we'll come and see you at the house. Went back, after, like, I think the week after that, we went back to his home to see him and his wife and the home health person came to the door and we and she let us in and we said well hey where's mr well i'm not gonna say his name but uh where's the the, the uh mr man i call him mr man uh and she said he died and we were like what he died i said oh my goodness I was floored. I was I was beside myself. I could not, you know, because he said, well, I'll be home in two, three days. Mind you, he broke his neck. And like I said, they was working on therapy and so forth. But 
he died. That that was that was mind blowing. So to make a long story short on that situation, he was the caregiver and the caregiver died. So we have to make sure as caregivers, we have to make sure to take care of ourselves. That was a very uh, sad story. And it took me a couple of days to bounce back on that one. Cause you, you know, you, I don't know about y'all, but I get attached to older people um, because I took care of Mama Kelly. That's another mama of mine. And she died in 2017. And that was stressful as well. So, you know, to to have older people, the older ones that you get attached to, they die. It's just, it's mind-boggling. So, what we need to do as caregivers, we need to make sure that we take care of ourselves so we can take care of our loved ones because now with the wife I don't know if they got kids or not but when I go back to visit her when I get a chance to go back to visit her there's no kids there they always have a caregiver or or a home health somebody that's being paid to take care of her because she can't take care of herself so that's food for thought but anyway I'm going to close on that note and hopefully someone out there that, that, that sees this, that are caregivers, remember, take care of yourself. I got to do it myself. I'm guilty of it. I don't do the job I need to do to take care of myself. So I got to get on my game. I got to up my level so I can take care of my mama Gladys. But y'all have a nice day today. Enjoy it, even though it's cloudy and kind of gloomy. You know, we'll make the best of it. But we will talk to you tomorrow. Probably be early because I got a rough schedule tomorrow. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Talk to you later. Deuces. Bye.